Hello, my name is Steve Baker. Um, I'm Managing Director of Baker Self Adhesive Label Company. Um, we've been uh, a company that's been running for 47 years now, and we recently started Backpack as a division of this company. Hi, I'm Phil Smith, General Manager of Backpack. Joined just over a year ago to help with setting up this new and exciting department, part of Baker Self Adhesive Labels. Done this, you can you explain and summarise what Baker Labels and Backpack is? Uh, Baker Self Labels, or Baker Labels as we like to be known as, um, is a trade label printing company. We've been established over 47 years. Um, we've been working with the trade, other mainly other label printers. That's our main bulk of the business. We don't really deal with end users. Uh, we've seen this as a very successful area of our business and that's why we decided to establish Backpack um, with the same sort of ethos uh, that we would supply to the trade um, so other packaging companies or other label companies that wanted to get into packaging uh, because we see that this is uh, potentially a good growth area. And you recently acquired a solution from Impro in one of your investments that you made for the launch of Backpack. Can you please tell us why you invested in an Enfron machine rather than another supplier? Um, when we, we, we decided to uh, start Backpack, we were looking for a digital solution. Um, we knew which print press we wanted to, to purchase because we've been a, an HP uh, customer for many years. Um, and the, the difficult area was trying to find a laminating solution that would suit our needs. And there was another one on the market, uh, but we were, we were quite green to this market. We didn't really, um, we, we understood thermal lamination, but we didn't understand the full lamination process. Uh, so when Mike Burton from ABG approached me to say that um, he was looking to have a solution for this, uh, we decided to, to have a good look at his solution. Mike has, has always been a, a, a fantastic supplier uh, to bakers. Uh, we 100% trust him and we trust his judgment. So when he said that he had a, a good solution, you know, it was, it was wise for us to listen. Um, we went out to see Empron in Spain um, and was very impressed with the quality of the work that they had. So the combination of ABG and Empron made it a, a very easy decision for us. And uh, we're very happy with the result. It's very high quality workmanship. We know that the flexible packaging market is growing, as is the perch market. <coughs> Why did you choose digital printing and thermal lamination for the perch market instead of the conventional system? Um, uh, we decided to set up Backpack because we we could see that the there was a big growth potential in digital flexible packaging. Um, having digital flexible packaging means, that, or a digital printing uh, process means that you have to have a laminating process that can deal with short to medium runs, minimum setup, uh, minimum waste, fast turnaround. So um, thermal lamination seemed to be the obvious choice to us. Uh, we didn't want to be involved with solvent or solventless where uh, there'll be fluids involved. We wanted a, a fast system, a system that we didn't have to have any waiting time after any post-cure time. Uh, we wanted to be able to offer a service where we could actually get artwork in in the morning and produce pouches in the evening, which this system gives us. Phil, can you please tell us about your experience so far in, ter so far in terms of functionality and ease of use? Uh, the experience has been very positive so far the Emprom machine has uh, proved to have great functionality in terms of controlling web tensions and temperatures which are the key part of thermal lamination the training of the staff has also been a very straightforward process uh, the, there isn't a vast amount of technical knowledge that you need to build up to run a thermal lamination machine and the way that the interface of the machine is uh, designed makes it um, 
uh, very easy for operators to learn fairly quickly how to uh, control all the key parts of the machine. Please, can you tell us about your experience with speed and performance? Uh, speed performance has been uh, exactly where we need it to be. Um, the uh, engineering of the machine is uh, based around uh, wide web conventional lamination. Uh, so it will always be able to cope with the speeds needed for thermal lamination, which are uh, slower than conventional. And the results that we've achieved have been very good and very stable. So we achieved between five and 10 Newtons generally on the tensile testing that we do. And the results are achieved instantly from the end of the machine. So there's no post cure process. We don't have to wait for uh, a couple of days to do our QC testing. We literally stop the machine, take a sample, do a tensile test and know instantly whether we've got a pass or fail. Steve, with your experience to date, do you think this is a scalable product in terms of additional presses? Um, absolutely, in terms of how many digital presses we can um, we can invest in and the MPROM still be able to cope with it. Um, not such good news for MPROM because um, obviously I can't see us requiring an, another machine for many, many years because I think this could easily cope with three HP presses um, very easily. It's uh, for what the amount of usage that we require of this machine with only one press at this particular time is very minimal. Um, and the fact that it runs so well, the jobs are on and off before we have a chance to print the next one. So um, yes, definitely we could have several printing presses and this, this one laminator will cope with that. So to finalize, can you show us the thermal laminator? This is the thermal laminator. <laughs>